welcome back to my youtube channel as always it's my pleasure to host you and connect with you and in today's video it's hip and happening in the kitchen as you can see because today's video is basically meant to help you get ready for hosting the summer parties so on the menu today we have the garlic bread which is always a crowd pleaser when i i have guests over they're always like are you gonna make that bread <laughs> the garlic bread that i make is very low in calories which is good for weight loss because i only use cheese and almond flour to make the bread rather than the regular flour and also i use butter which is also good fat to keep you full for longer and uh, yeah it's super tasty it's amazing the other thing that i love on the menu is the guacamole because there's nothing like a creamy guacamole with a kick of jalapenos the ingredients are so interesting because they're so fresh all of them are healthy for you to lose weight at the same time and eat a balanced diet so as a host i'll give you a few tips that you need to bear in mind when you are preparing for a crowd of people you need to be able to multitask say when you put your garlic bread in the oven in the meantime when it's cooking you can season your chicken and your asparagus as well as make the guacamole because it only takes five minutes or less and also you have to clean as you go so when you are ready let's get cracking because we have a few things to do in the kitchen today but before you know it you'll be out of the kitchen because all the recipes that i share are usually effortless simple yet so tasty and uh, just easy to follow and we're starting with our main dish for this brunch which is the garlic bread so we're going to need a cup see i never measure my ingredients so about a, a cup and a half of shredded mozzarella we need a cup of almond flour or you can call it ground almond and then we're going to need a bit of parmesan cheese we need some butter we need some baking powder we need also onion granules i'm not lazy <laughs> this is very lazy but i ain't lazy so this is garlic chopped garlic i like this one because it's very convenient and then i'm going to use the cream cheese which is uh, already flavored with garlic and herbs because we are going for herbs here today there's nothing like very nice garlic garlic bread garlic garlic bread is there anything like that even so in this recipe we are going to use some asparagus so i'm going to be using asparagus so what i'm going to basically do is drizzle this with oil and a bit of salt and pepper and roast it with my chicken so next is our chicken strips i'm going to be making kujan chicken strips so i need some chicken strips there oil which i'm going to be using for most of the recipes and then the kujon spice so lastly what's a brunch without guacamole so what we're going to be using as avocados they have to be ripe so that you can mash them and uh, a bit of red onion jalapenos of course <laughs> and some tomatoes firstly we're going to add the cream cheese 
to the shredded mozzarella cheese and put in the microwave for two minutes or until it's melted don't over melt it because it will turn solid so that's my quarter cup so you're going to pop the cheese mixture into the microwave for two minutes and ta-da so next you're going to mix up the cheese with the cream cheese and the almond flour and that's all cooking powder and a bit of garlic granules and to blend everything up So you wash your hands and mix everything up with your hands. You're going to put the baking sheet. You use the parchment paper to just roll out. Don't ask me why I'm using this because it works as well. Like the rolling pin. You are then going to transfer your dough into a baking sheet and before we pop it into the oven you have to top it up with melted butter and herbs. So this is what you simply do. You melt the butter and let it cool down a bit and then you're going to chop the herbs that you are using and uh, mix them with the butter and also add some garlic so that you have the proper garlic bread this is where the flavor comes from don't be shy with your garlic and butter they have to be enough to cover this whole surface of your dough so you are going to spread it nicely to coat all the top surface of the dough and then pop it into a preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for 17 to 18 minutes halfway through cooking you are going to sprinkle the parmesan cheese on top this is optional you are then going to return the bread to the oven and continue cooking until it's golden so the next thing we are going to be making the guacamole while our bread is cooking so ooh. <laughs> you remove the pips from the avocados and uh, peel them today they're very cooperative <laughs> so they're just right and precise so make sure you choose the right avocados if they're not ready they won't be as creamy We're then going to just simply mash the avocados you can use a fork it works out perfect if the avocados are ripe or just a wooden spoon add some onion granules and garlic granules and also a pinch of salt and drizzle with a bit of olive oil or coconut oil melted coconut oil and mix thoroughly before you chop the vegetables and add them to the avocado mixture if you don't like the smell of raw onion you don't have to add the onion you can skip whichever ingredient you don't like or vary the ingredients to suit your taste 
You are then going to drizzle the guacamole mixture with a bit of lemon juice or lime juice so that it doesn't lose its green lovely color and then you're going to cover it with uh, a cling film and to put it in the fridge while you prepare the rest of the food hello chicken you are going to drizzle your chicken strips with oil and then put the seasoning that you are using so i'm on this recipe i'm using kujon seasoning and uh, i also like to put a bit of paprika to just give my chicken that nice golden color and then i'm going to put the seasoned chicken strips on the air fryer you can use the oven you can put roast them in the oven or grill them or simply shallow fry them while the chicken is cooking you're going to drizzle a bit of oil over the asparagus and uh, season well with salt and pepper and what i usually do when the chicken is halfway done i turn it and uh, pop in the asparagus then you're going to let the asparagus cook over the chicken don't overcook it otherwise it's going to lose its green color and then our garlic bread is nice and golden out of the oven the guacamole is ready you have the asparagus is still nice and green you have the chicken strips nice and golden and you have the mighty garlic bread you can serve the drinks are optional i usually love on a sunny day i love extra dry prosecco or champagne hallelujah <laughs> so your guest will be very impressed look at how colorful this is i always tell you you eat with your eyes so you pull off the rich and stunt without even trying too hard so if you are new in this channel please click that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so that you won't miss any uploads in the future and if you are a regular in this channel please hit that like button and give this video a thumbs up and also do share this video with your friends and family and also leave a comment in the comment section to let me know what you would like to discuss in the next video. So that's all I had for today's video and I hope to see you in the next video and uh, until then keep living your life and keep trying the recipes that I share with you. This shout out is to Betty all the way from Betty's town. I miss you my friend and I hope to see you soon. So until then, ta-da!